In this video, we will cover how to properly install, tag, and wire space HMIs. HMIs can be installed directly to industry standard junction boxes using four number 632 screws, two inches in length. One important note is that space HMIs should be installed with their factory provided vented standoff to allow for more accurate space readings. Care should be taken to ensure the HMI readings are not skewed by poorly insulated wall cavities or excessive space temperature swings caused by variables such as a sliding entry door, space heaters, appliances, or other factors that could skew readings. We recommend space HMIs are located in a room not impacted by sunlight, while giving the best representation of average space conditions, typically near a return. Space HMIs should never be installed in an area with draft or near a supply diffuser. A CAT5 cable will need to be run from the J4, J5, or J6 ports on the main MUA board to the J2 port on the back of the space HMI. If additional space HMIs need connected, they can be daisy-chained from the first HMI or directly wired from the MUA board. A max of four additional HMIs can be daisy-chained together and an end-of-line resistor should be added to the last HMI in the chain. Through factory programming, each of these additional space HMIs can sample temperature, humidity, and CO2 of their installation location and contribute towards an overall average if this is their intended use. In the service menu under Job Info, there will be an HMI number and a tag name for each individual HMI, giving a description of where the HMI is located. Make sure to cross-reference this HMI number and correctly tag the label located on the back of the HMI.